Oh, hello. Oh, no, excuse me. I... I'm sorry, I have a little problem with my... Yeah, with my ear. I did not hear you arriving. Well, welcome, welcome. Yes, you are. Indeed. You are. <laughs> yes. Or did you have any difficulties to find my shop? I, you seem, if you don't mind me saying, you seem to be very new around these areas. Um, no, no, I, I don't mean anything about it. It's not, it's just the way you look and, well, behave. You seem quite the usual diagonally client, much more innocent and, oh, oh, no, 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 don't, don't touch that, no, 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 that, no, no, let me just take all of these things, yeah, far away from you, you, you need to be careful, my friend, yes, you cannot go touching around random objects in, well, the shops you're gonna find here at Nocturne Alley. No, you, uh, unless you wish to get a curse. Yes, because many of the mysterious objects that you're gonna find here in my shop, many of them are cursed or are under some kind of dark magic spell. Enchantments and yeah. I advise you to just use your eyes for now. Yes, keep your hands on your pockets and well, if you would be so kind to tell me what brings you around these areas, what are you? looking for huh. I see well I do have some very old objects here that might contain some powerful ancient magic well I will show you some of the things I have here in my shop and we'll see of course if any of these objects are of your interest, right? flask, a little bottle, which contains two very powerful ingredients. Now, the special thing about these ingredients is that they are more than 2,000 years old, yes, and although it's a rather common ingredient dragon heart string it is very very old as I told you which 
made it, well, with the years. It made it, well, grow much more powerful in its magical properties. Yes, it has never been opened. It was collected by a, well, unknown individual, but one which was very, well, very powerful in the dark arts. And he, well, casted a very powerful spell on this flask. And through all of these centuries, it has been sealed. Now this is a very good, interesting possession to acquire. You might not be powerful enough to open this yet, but value of this is unimaginable to describe. Yes, not only for, well, I would say making wands possibly with dragon heartstring or maybe possibly some potions, but the ways this can be used are much well on a much larger spectrum now because of how powerful it has become along the centuries well you're gonna have to be willing to pay a very good price to take this possession with you And it's not it's not a simple thing to handle with. Well, let's continue, my friend. Yes. Well now this might not seem very interesting. It's special night of full moon under the alignment of the planets. Yes. Also, you won't believe this, but there was a eclipse going on as well. So you can imagine how many well, powerful forces were under activity on that night when she collected this. Oh yes, she used all the proper rituals and spells. It's not very... well, it's not good to smell as you would expect from lavender since it has been dead for 
for over 80 years. Oh no, I mean, yeah, I, you would expect it to be more powerful when it's fresh, taking from nature, perhaps, but not in this case, not under the rituals and dark magic enchantments that were happening that night, 80 years ago. No, it has been prepared to become more powerful and strong with every pass of the year and with as much rotten it gets. Now this obviously does not smell very interesting. It's not a decoration you would put on your dining table, but this is made to be a powerful, protective element on your home. Yes, of course it it protects the home, the house where it it's it's inside from all kinds of dark magic. Yes, you see this witch was being haunted. Yes, by Death Eaters. She betrayed them. She used to be one of them, but after her betrayal, her life became so difficult, running constantly around, hiding, and one day she decided that she was just going to live inside of her own house forever, until her last days. No Death Eaters were ever <laughs> able to get into her place, no, because of such a powerful, protective, well, enchantment on that old lavender. Yes, in there with every pass of the year it became more powerful, so they just eventually gave up. If you are looking for protection, that's exactly the item you should take. Now, this here, this here, is a diary, yes, a diary, and, well, who would imagine that maybe there's something written inside of it, but for your surprise, <laughs> there is absolutely nothing, it's blank, that is because everything you write, it's absorbed by the pages, It can only be read by you or someone you allow. It is very useful if you are in the need of, well, getting a few things out of your head. You can just put them into the diary. It will absorb everything and, well, will be as part of your mind lives 
inside of it. Oh yes, all the memories, all the thoughts you transfer to the diary will Yeah, will be in a way alive inside of the pages. Hidden, completely hidden from anyone else. I believe it would be kind of useful for Hogwarts students such as you so much to deal with not only the exams, the studies, classes and all difficult spells you have to learn but also, well, the school bullies and, well, some of the teachers as well, right? And the detentions they put us through. Oh yes, I I remember those very well from my time of Hogwarts. I got out, of course, I couldn't handle it for too many years. I jumped out of Hogwarts in the fourth year, in the fourth year, and never came back, started to work here with my father in the shop until he passed away, and I started to take care of it on my own. Anyway. Interesting, interesting object could be useful for you, unless you are needing of protection against, well, dark forces or, well, very powerful or magical ingredients. But so far, I'm not sure if you are interested in those. The book diary could be useful for you and I might have one more object which I can show you yes let me take it for you just a second this one yes <laughs> well the box is very shiny and pretty but what's inside of it it's very dark and very very impure very well locked in. It's a very interesting, very little, little magical creature. Yes, the size of an insect, but with the power of <laughs> a very, very strong creature. Now, this be very interesting for you to well push away whatever or whoever it's troubling you yes yeah. I mean I get the idea that 
this is a desperate call for help to fight some very unpleasant people who have been uh, well giving you a hard time. Yes, it's not so expensive. So you could buy it. And they are very, very effective. Yes, um, there's a couple of them here. Three or four, perhaps. I didn't count. You don't want to open this to just count how many there are. I have very special hunters which collect them every year and it's not an easy job but they are able to yeah, catch a few of them for me and yeah I mean you could just pretend it's a gift for this person which troubles you. You wouldn't be very convincing, right? You're giving a present to them. Or you just open this behind their backs and go off running. Yeah, you run as fast as you can and you open it and troll on their back. Yeah, you, you cannot let them have the time to run away as well. Otherwise, the little creature will just run away. And it won't do the <laughs> terrific job of basically ruining the whole month of this person. Yeah, you see, first of all, it will leave the person leave the person full of scratches and well it will hurt but it won't be lethal no and then the person will be poisoned for a whole month and feeling sick and it won't trouble you anymore for a while unless it well, he discovers it was you, and then, yeah, you will be in big trouble. But that's why you, yeah, that's why you wait for the right time and, yeah, throw it on their back and go running away. Now, we are almost, almost done. I'm just gonna take some, yes, yes, just gonna take this thing. I'm gonna... Very good. And yes. That will be twenty galleons, yes. Twenty galleons. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. And well take care around here at Nocturne Alley. I hope you do good use of that. Oh. No, no, no. Maybe in Diagon Alley they would give you the advice of not acting like that and, well, attacking this person by their back. But over here, I think that's a very effective, effective way. Of handling the situation. I hope you do well <coughs> in Hogwarts. <coughs> and, well, if you need anything else, if you are having trouble with other people and you need a few more of those, you know to come back here. Yes. <laughs> well, 
Yes, it was a pleasure. Goodbye. Have a good evening. Oh, very interesting clients. Very interesting clients. Oh. Um, stuff in them. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. Thank you.